Hi, welcome back to PSOE Math Heuristics lesson again. Now, today we are going to look at one of my favorite methods, which is a uh, model drawing method. Uh, so model drawing is the most important method that you need to master, you need to know, uh, because many questions in your exam will have to use model drawing. And of course, there'll be some questions that you can't draw a model, then you will have, you will have to think about other methods. But otherwise, uh, the first method that you need to think about is whether can you draw the model. So let's look at this very challenging problem, right? It's a primary six question. Uh, it can also be a primary five question. Uh, so it's, it's very hard. It's going to be very hard to solve if you, uh, if you don't draw the model. So let's read the question and uh, let's see how do we draw out the problem. Now at the first stop along a train route, some passengers boarded an empty train. At the second stop, all right, so at the first stop, there were some passengers boarded an empty train. So we don't know how many passengers at first. At the second stop, three over 10 of the passengers alighted and 84 passengers boarded the train. So it's getting a little confusing already. Now at the third stop, two over seven of the passengers alighted, right, alighted, and 68 passengers boarded the train. So more confusing. <laughs> the train then had, all right, the train then had four to eight passengers inside, right, in the end. So how many passengers boarded the train at the first stop or at first, right? So you can see that it's very hard, right? It's very hard to solve if you don't know how to, uh, if you can't draw the model or you don't draw the model, it's almost quite hard to solve unless you're very good in your math. Okay, but how do we exactly draw the model? Now, what is model drawing? Model drawing is when you, uh, you draw out the problem without even solving means you never try to solve the problem at the beginning. You always try to draw out the problem, and then after that, you use the model to work out the steps or to solve. So you can find many of my model drawing lessons in my YouTube channel, MLGS YouTube channel. There are so many of them. Uh, so you can actually look at how I draw the problem, right? Every problem, how I draw out the model, and how I use the model to solve very hard problems. So it's actually quite easy. Once you catch the, the drawing skills, uh, the solving is actually very easy. Okay, so let's see how we draw the problem. Now you always draw from the beginning to the end. Nobody or seldom do you draw backwards. Mr. Uh, Ong never draw backwards because it's very hard to draw backwards. So I always draw forward. So at the first stop along a train route, some passengers boarded an empty train. So what I will do is I will draw a rectangle. Your model always represents something, right? So in this question, this rectangle represents the passengers. Now, then you have drawn, okay, you have drawn the first sentence already. So at the second stop, three over 10 of the passengers alighted. So you need to understand the fraction. So all the passengers, how many of them? They are 10. So you cut this rectangle into 10. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? So the rectangle is cut into ten boxes and three boxes alighted. So you need to label, okay, alighted. So let's call it uh AL, okay? Up to you. How you want to or maybe I should I should write a nice word, alight. <laughs> okay, so make sure you have clear label. Because if you don't label your model, then you will not understand what the model is. Uh, is talking about. And then where are the remaining passengers? The remaining passengers are the rest of the boxes, right? The seven over 10. These are the passengers who are who still remain. Okay, then what happened? Then you have 84, pass 84 passengers boarded the train. So how do we continue to draw the model when there are 84 passengers who boarded the train? Well, you can extend the rectangle like this. Okay, you make the rectangle longer, because now you have 84 more people inside the train. So you have drawn until here already. So you can see that when you draw the model, there is a lot of common sense. <laughs> All right, there's a lot of common sense in your drawing, uh, which means that if you have people who border the train, then your rectangle will have to become longer, right? You will stretch the rectangle longer. Okay, at the third stop, three over seven of the passengers alighted. So which means that now, all the passengers or the rectangle, right, for the passengers, you must cut into seven boxes. And if you look at the model, where are the passengers now? So let me use a different color. So these are the passengers, right, passengers who, who remain, including those 84 who boarded the train. So you have to cut this into what? Into seven boxes. But are you able to do that? 
Right, you look at the blue color rectangle, uh, you cannot cut into seven boxes. So in our model drawing lesson, there's something called droop down. So if you cannot cut into seven boxes, then you droop down the same rectangle, right? Droop down the same rectangle and you cut into seven boxes. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? There are seven boxes. And then how many boxes alighted? Two over seven alighted. So I alight I label. Okay, so again, make sure you label clearly. 2 over 7 alighted. Okay, and then where are the remaining passengers? The remaining passengers are the 5 over 7. Okay, the rest of the boxes that you see on the right side. And then you have 68 passengers boarded the train. Then what do you do? You stretch the rectangle again and you put down 68. So now you have 68 passengers who boarded the train. Okay, alright, so where are you now? You are until here. Correct? And the train now had 4 to 8 passengers all together. So where is your 4 to 8 passengers? Your 4 to 8 passengers will be over here. Okay, after 2 over 7 alighted, then where are the remaining passengers? The remaining passengers will be where? Will be over here. Okay, which is the green color, green color rectangle. So these are the remaining passengers, including the 68 more passengers who boarded the train. So that is your remaining passengers, right? And there are 400, 428 passengers in the train in the end, right? Okay, so you can see that am I solving actually? I'm not even thinking about how to solve. Right? There's nothing to do with solving here. It's all about drawing. So where are you now? You are until here already. You draw until that part of the, of the story, that part of the word problem. So how many passengers boarded the train at the first stop? So where is your question mark? Then your model must have a question mark. So your question mark will be to find, to find what? From here all the way to here. So you got to be very careful where you put the question mark, right? So, it's, so the question mark is on the rectangle before the 84 passengers boarded. So you must make sure you put the question mark correctly. Okay, and that's it. Your model is done. So every problem will have a different model, right? So you don't memorize the model. You cannot memorize the model. <laughs> Once you memorize how to draw, then it's going to be very hard to draw out the problem. You have to draw out the sentence one by one, and every problem will give you a different model. Okay, so if you have drawn a good model, then you don't need to look at the question. You can look at the model and use that to solve. So how do we do that? Oh, that's very easy. <laughs> okay, now if you look at the look at the model, you can actually now work backwards. And how do you work backwards? Okay, you can see that 428, you minus 68, you will get so many. So 4 to 8 minus 68, you will get 360, right? And whatever answer you have found, you need to put it inside your model so that it becomes clearer. And uh, that will be five boxes. So your 360 is five boxes. So you find how many is inside one box. So you divide by five and you will get 72. So now what you are doing is you are solving, right? You see the model to, to solve. So 72, 72 and so on. Okay. And you can see that the boxes are not proportional because 68 is longer than 72, but it doesn't matter because as long as you label, right? You just label correctly, put the numbers inside, you can still solve the problem. And then of course, over here is also the same, right? Okay. And then what do we do? Then we can actually work backwards again. So can you find whatever you drop down? Can you see that you drop down, right? Drop down this rectangle. So whatever you drop down is the same as above. So which means that how many is this? All right, how many is this part of the rectangle? So that will be 72 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 72 times 7. Okay, so 72 times 7, and you will get how many? You will get 504. Okay, 504. Okay, so let's put down 504. So try to have uh, try to have bigger model. Don't draw too small. If you draw too small, what happens is very hard to see. Okay, very hard to see. Okay, then your 504, you minus 84, right? Minus 84, and you will get this part of the the all right, this part of the model and how many is that so 504 minus 84 and you will get 420 right 
So whatever answer you found, you put inside, right? Put onto your model, four to zero, which is how many boxes? Which is actually uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So your four to zero is seven boxes. So now you take four to zero and you divide by seven. So every box is 60. So you just put down 60, 60, see? So whatever numbers you found, just fill in, all right? Just fill in. And then over here is also the same, 60 and 60. And then now can you find how many passengers at the beginning, which is how many boxes of 60? So there are 10 boxes of 60, right? So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you have 10 boxes. So which means that you have 10 times, 10 times, or 60 times 10, right? So, or 10 times 60. So they are all together 600 passengers at the first stop and you solve the problem, right? So that's how you, uh, that's how you draw a model to solve difficult problems. This is actually a paper two question, right? Paper two, and it carries about at least four marks, definitely at least four marks or even five marks. So, uh, so if you can draw a good model, then the survey will come quite fast, right? So model drawing is nothing to do with solving. Model drawing is more to do with drawing out the problem. And once you're able to do that, then you use the model and solve. Okay, so that's the end of our lesson on model drawing. So in our next coming few lessons or next coming lessons, uh, we will touch on different methods, right? Different methods that we can use to solve work problems uh, because there'll be some questions that you cannot use model. Uh, then what do you do about it? You will, you will have to think about uh, is there any other method that I can use to solve if I cannot draw the model? So there will be other methods to, to use as well. Alright, so I'll see you in the next lesson.